So you ask me, hey, I've never been to the birthday bash. You know, what, what can we expect? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> I don't know, because it's different every time, and it always will be, and it's exciting, and it's real, and it's fresh, and there's probably more mistakes than there are good notes hit, and all that kind of stuff, but it's a party, and it's been going on for 26 years now. These people know how to party, and uh, we're gonna bring it to you. surprise it was being greeted by all my favorite redheads to kick off the party. This truly is a culmination of 70 years of my life. Over the years, we've had everybody come down here from Kenny Chesney, Guy Fieri, John Mayer, Jerry Cantrell, Kid Rock, you name it, we've all partied together. This party has had it all, and this year will be the biggest one yet. All of my best buddies have come out to play. And the ones that couldn't make it decided to share their love in a different way. Hey, Sammy, as one 70-year-old to another, I just want to let you know how completely fucked you are. But I did find a younger person who could be an example for us of, of youth who wants to say happy birthday to you. Sammy, I've learned a lot of important things in my life. And one of them is you've got to stop having birthdays because you're getting ancient, totally ancient, all right? Are you ready for your song? This is your birthday song, it isn't very long. <laughs> I just want to say real quick, Daryl, thank you and welcome to Cabo. Oh, happy it's birthday. first time in Cabo? This is my first time. No, I've, I've been here, but it's my first time in Cabo. Wow. Well, that's... I've been here two years, three years ago. Yeah. I, did, I came in for a, a private party with the Hard Rock Cafe. Oh, yeah. yeah when they, they were still here, they went out of business. Cabo Wobble, unfortunately, he puts everybody out of business around here, and it's not my intention. No, no, it's, it's, it's not my intention. It's I good. Mean, well, everybody should be able to make money. If, yeah, if, if they can't, <laughs> look, if they can't rock and roll at that level, yes. man, hey, there exactly. you go. So, but anyway, so this is my birthday bash, my 70th uh, birthday. How old are you, Daryl? Happy birthday, 53. He's a young man. 53. You know that my son is 48? Oh, really? You could almost I be I could be your son. son. That's exactly. Look at oh, we kind of yeah. look alike, right? That's it. Oh yeah. <laughs> anyway, Daryl, I'm really so really I'm honored. Looking in the mirror. I'm, yeah. Now that <laughs> you guys look, you guys look <laughs> more alike. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob Weir is in the house. <laughs> I want to ask you a couple questions, if I if I may. So. Last night you came here in a really nice outfit, <laughs> and I'm looking at Bob. I'm saying I've, I've known Bob for about 35, 40 years, and I'm going, I've never seen him dress this nice before. <laughs> <laughs> so for your birthday, obviously, your wife Natasha had bought you a new outfit, and you went sporting it real clean last night. You look good. <laughs> so, so what happened? <laughs> <laughs> now he's ignoring me. You see this? The reason I say that is this is the way I see Bob every day. I'm downtown Mill Valley in the market. He's looking at apples and shit. He's dressed like this. I see him in my restaurant, El Paseo. He's like in there complaining about the prices and says, hey, we don't have the wine that he wanted. And he's dressed like this. He comes here last night. He looked beautiful. He's dressed up very nice. I can but, get, I can get half of that. I like this. No, I like it like this better now. This is a Bob that I know. Yeah, I'm this here to the heat. This is a Wayne Dang Doo look. <laughs> Welcome the big dog. Hey, the big dog is here. Mr. Huh? Toby oh, Keats. What's up, man? Nice to meet you. Toby, I just want to ask you a couple of questions. How many of these birthday parties have you been to? I've been to three or four, but the big one was a. Uh, <laughs> the big one. The big one was uh, ten years ago. Oh. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> but I've been knowing you about 15, 16 years. That's I think, right, right. Yep. 
I stayed in your house one time, and this big seabird flies through the front door while I'm unloading. Seahawk. The fuck's that? That's big. <laughs> boom, Seahawk hits the wall, breaks his neck. I pick him up, take him outside, <laughs> throw him over the fence. And since then, Toby has become a permanent resident down here. I think you've played the Cabo Wobble probably more than me, Toby. Well, they've talked about some uh, residuals coming my way sometime. But you haven't seen anything yet? No, I haven't seen anything. You didn't see nothing from that you know TV what? show? You, you did nothing for you, that TV yeah, show? Yeah, I know. Every time I do stuff that. with you, about every third time you, you pay me. And the rest <laughs> time... <laughs> I'll buy you some old used car yeah, or something. He, he did buy me an old used car one Toby time. Keith's in the house tonight! Mr. Eddie Money here. Do you realize what you're in for? Do you have uh, any idea? I know the place is going to be packed there because the line goes around the building like four times. <laughs> At our age, our age, because we're the same age, right, sure. why the fuck do we still care and why the fuck do we still want to do this? Do you have any idea? Can you convince me why? I got five kids. I'll do anything to get out of the house. <laughs> there you go. Eddie Money Eddie. told it like it is, OK? <laughs> <laughs> down to Cabo for a while, and I discovered this thing, this kind of lifestyle thing. I stayed down here, I used to play the cantina, always for my birthday for 26 years now, 27, whatever, however many years, it's a long time. And uh, the fans come, and they come more and more every year, and they followed me down here, and it was like this new extended family for me. And it's become such a big part of my life and such a big part of their life that now, it's to me, it's like, uh, it's kind of like as if when you're when you're dating, you know, and you you know, it's a young single guy wanting to be a rock star, you know, just trying to bang every chick you, you can and, and get as many fans as you can and make as much money as you can on the stuff. And, and, and then all of a sudden you find one girl and you fall in love. And then you want to get married, you want to have children, you want to settle down. Well that's what I feel about the redheads and the birthday bash. I, they've come down here all these years. And I've fallen in love with them. And I've fallen in love with this thing that we do every year. And uh, I can't say we're going to get married and have kids, but <laughs> we're going to stick together for the rest of our lives and do this. And once I figure that out in my head, here, you know, 70 years old, I finally get it, right, why I'm doing this. And I love making those people happy. And they love it when I'm happy. So it is like the most perfect relationship I don't know, it really works, and I plan on doing this for the rest of my life, and it's kind of like my whole life has been like one big, long-ass rock and roll road trip, and it's very fitting to be here right now. I get so inspired down here, you know, I've written so many songs. I wrote a whole album living on a coastline down here and living it up, basically, and Got to know. It's like, um, I've been writing songs like this lately. There's a song called Father Time. Father Time's over there, looking over my shoulder. I'm here soaking up the sun and dreaming night. Crashing waves, falling out to shore. That's been going on forever and more. There's something about the sun in Mexico that burns different. And every island smells familiar. Don't remember, but I can't forget. Still living in stream. Hard to raise four children. 
played every bar in every small town that would have me. Finally met a record man that signed me. Said he liked the way my star was shining. I hit the road. Man, it ain't no place to raise a family. But that highway feels familiar. Don't remember what I can't confess. Still living this dream, and it ain't over yet. When was the last time? We did something for the first time. Hard right to the head, left hook to the body. Ain't nobody going down, but they sure are taking a beating. And the songs we sing won't change it, no matter how loud we play it. I can see it, I just don't know what to do about it. Yeah, and history looks familiar. Don't remember, but we can't forget. Been living this dream, and it ain't over yet. Still living this dream, and it ain't over yet. Ain't over yet. And for the time standing there, Looking over my shoulder.